Brandon, Sean White has only thrown one interception. That came on the opening drive of his college career, and it was a nice play by the defensive back, frankly, but he hasn't thrown a touchdown pass yet. He hasn't thrown any interceptions since. He's been very effective the last couple of games, but hasn't found the end zone yet, and there's been some discussion about does it really matter all that much when the Auburn offense is able to reach the end zone anyway, mainly through the running game, obviously? Does it, does it really make all that big a difference? Not As of right now, no. But at some point, you'd like to have a big play that leads to a touchdown just to kind of spark things a little bit more. But they're not having a problem really scoring the football, you know, these last couple of weeks. They've had some lulls, but not the type of lulls they're having with Jeremy Johnson. And here's the other thing. Sean White is getting them into the red zone with the help of the run game, but also a lot with the passing game. He's doing very well between uh, the 30-yard lines, I guess, yep. throwing the football. And once they get inside the red zone, that's when Peyton Barber takes over. It's when Carrion Johnson takes over the Wildcat. And they've done just fine producing that way. Now, my question, though, is first downs. Are you going to start yeah. throwing the ball more on first down to maybe lead to more of those big plays that result in touchdowns? I think they're a little bit more predictable, obviously, they're on first down. Auburn, their 21 first plays on first down against Arkansas, 19, 19 of them were run plays, including 12 straight. So a little predictable at this point. Yeah, and that's been the way they've been for the last two-plus years, though this is now getting to an extreme. Yeah. Uh, they were always very predictable as run first on first down, probably more than just about anybody in the SEC the last several years. But now they've taken it to an extreme, you're right. With the lack of passing touchdowns, no, I don't think it's as big a deal as long as the drives are being ended in the end zone, yeah. especially after the big plays. And they've been doing that. But you ask now, before it's an issue, because should it become an issue, you go, hey, well, where did that come from? Well, no, it, it was happening all along. Uh, and they have been able to finish. Though there was the one drive inside the five, I think, where they had to get the fourth and goal, where Jeremy Johnson got the one-yard score, yeah. where they were having some difficulty at the one-yard line getting in at that point after getting down there with pass plays. So it's not perfect. No, it's not really on Sean all that much at all, quite frankly. Uh, but you'd like to see him get there at some point. 97 pass attempts at this point, four starts, no touchdowns. Only one player in college football has more attempts at that one, and that's Charlotte's quarterback, and their stats aren't even official this year because they're reclassifying. So it's just to point out that, no, it's not the biggest deal, but sooner or later, you know it's going to come, but after a while, it also would naturally have to weigh on somebody as well. Yeah, just one big, great pumpkin right there in the touchdown column. It's a Halloween joke.